What's up guys? So I thought I'd do a little behind the scenes action for my Halloween video coming up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I get a little skittish during these times. Um, no, but uh, uh, these videos take a lot of- Jesus. Okay. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, okay, power's out. Um, I got a backup generator around here somewhere. Uh, should be able to get a light on. Let me, let me find that. Uh, okay, so I think I got the... Oh yeah, the switch is right here. Whew. Okay, well, uh, at least we got light. Um, oh, like that. Okay, that's something like that came in the house. Uh, we gotta figure out what the hell's going on. All right. Phone light still works. Time to figure out what the hell's going on. First, I'm gonna need this. Okay. Oh God. I do not remember leaving this open. What's going on in here? Oh God, okay. That was scary. Anything going on out here? Oh God. I come from the kitchen? Oh, I think that cabinet's open. What's up guys, back with another salsa. Um, it's a special Halloween edition, can you read that? It says trick or treat, ooh, scary. In honor of Halloween, I got this salsa called Death by Salsa. Another Pepper Palace original, I guess. This is from my friend Josh, who is a very dear friend to me and is far too generous, but I love him, so I appreciate that. Death by Salsa, ooh, scary, right? Let's see. Um, they claim it is the hottest sauce on the planet. I find that very hard to believe. Um, let me read the ingredients to you and you'll see what I mean. Tomatoes. Apple cider vinegar. Some cap- some- some weird ingredient that, you know, probably thickens it or something. Um, habaneros, onions, jalapenos, garlic, salt, spices, xanthan gum. Like, dude, I've had jalapenos before and I've had habaneros before. Uh, putting them together doesn't, like, multiply them. Doesn't go, whoa, that's so spicy, like... Come on, like, things like the Apollo pepper exist. Like, this is the hottest salsa in the world. We'll see about that. Um, let's get a little sniff on. Not a good pop. Not a good pop at all. Ah, dude, yeah, it smells spicy. You smell a lot of the pepper in there. Good amount of the tomato. Yeah, um... No, no thoughts really on the smell. Kind of smells like a salsa. We got the classic tortilla chips. These are my favorite tortilla chips. Um, can you see why? <laughs> uh, I always go with the yellow corn. I, I like the yellow corn. Um, and then these are just, they got a good salt crisp to it and they're not like an overpowering flavor to the tortilla. There's nothing special going on. I'm not gonna get the lime on there. If I want lime, I'll just squeeze a little lime in myself. Um, 269 bro you can't get you can't go wrong with that sometimes they're even on sale for this so these are my go-to uh a nice a nice uh uh baseline to my palate okay first bite first impressions let's see what's going on whoa oh fuck whoa <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, I was so arrogant. <laughs> Whoa, that spicy is. Oh my god. It's spicier than a ditch digger's ass. That's what my dad would say. Holy shit. Um. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's that bad. That's crazy. I've never been more confident in my life that this wasn't going to be spicy. And like, I feel the hiccups coming. Oh my god. What have I become? So sure to myself. Let's go for another bite. Wow.
Well, how did they do that? <laughs> oh my god. How did they do that? That's the spiciest thing I've ever had in my life. Is that is that the spice? <laughs> it's spicy. Um, let me let me start. Oh my god, let me start by saying it is spicy. Um, it's not that kind of spice that makes you like want to like dunk your head in like ice water. But it's the kind of spice where it's like I don't like actively enjoy this. <laughs> Until, like, at least I've made through a little bit of it. And then the endorphins kick in. And you're like, oh, that's why I do it. Um, whew, yeah, there's a lot going on in there. And I don't mean flavor-wise. <laughs> I mean spice-wise. Flavor-wise, I, I, could, I could leave this. Like, it does not taste that good. <laughs> it's a lot of, I'm breathing so heavy. It's a lot of pepper. And not exactly in the right way. I'm gonna get some water. My God. Okay, so like, the really interesting thing is that the spice doesn't really linger. It's, I mean, obviously it stays on your tongue a little bit, all spice does, but like, if you ever had a very hot, hot sauce, if you ever had the last dab, if you ever had that garbage hot sauce, what, the bomb, I hate the bomb. You know that that spice like, will sit there on your tongue and it'll burn you for hours upon hours upon hours, just, just to spite you, it hates you. It doesn't like you and it doesn't like your tongue. And it doesn't want to be eaten. This kind of wants to be eaten a little bit. Like, it's a little flirty. It's like, hey, I'm really hot, you know? But, like, I'm not going to make it hell for you for the next three hours. So that's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> if I ate any more than, like, two chips of this, and, like, there wasn't a lot on those chips, I'd be telling you a totally different story. But right here, right now, it's, it's not insulting. It's not, it's not abhorrent. Once again, not a lot going on in the flavor department. Um, this could have done very well with probably some fruity flavors. I would have liked to have seen um, some blueberry or some blackberry, some like darker, rich, fruity flavors in there. Um, there's this, I shouldn't talk about other salsas in front of this salsa, but there is a salsa up there, a blackberry serrano, that I think would benefit from more spice. And so maybe these two could find a happy medium. Very heavy in tomato notes. And that's it. You have really hot peppers and you have some tomatoes. Don't get what do you get? Death by salsa. <laughs> so do I see myself I would never I would never buy this. Um, it's a fun it's a fun gimmick, but once you realize that there's things out there that taste good and are just as spicy, the gimmick kind of loses a lot of its fun. Josh, uh, you crush it with this pick though. You know exactly what you're doing with this. Um, I cannot believe how spicy it is. That is so crazy. It hurts me. It hurts my core. It hurts my uh, my pride. Man, it just shot me down. I should have known better. But yeah, death by salsa. Um, I'd say eating a whole jar of this will probably kill you. <laughs> That's not really. Uh, is that a threat? No. They really did crush the death by salsa part. They said this is the hottest salsa on the planet. Still, I, I would not say the hottest sauce on the planet for obvious reasons. Um, they only use habaneros and habaneros. And like, I'm doing fine right now. If I ate that much of the last dab, I would be like sucking on ice cubes right now. That's a different video. That's on, that's on a different channel. You guys don't find me sucking on ice cubes here. Something like this is like, that's really fucking hot. And like, it'd be fun to have my friend try some because he doesn't know what he's getting himself into, or her. So it's, it's a six out of 10. It, they, they don't lie, they go, they, they hit their mark, but just not enjoyable. I'd never put that out for anyone unless I was trying to hurt them, unless they're my enemy. Um, but trick or treat, right? So tis the season. The little pepper guy screaming is pretty, oh my God. Just blew my top off. Sorry, it's so hot. Steam coming out of my ears, blah, you know, but I don't know if you can see it very well, but look at that guy. Don't focus on me, focus on this. Ooh, yeah. He's not having a good time. That was me. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Um, and Josh, dude, thank you for sending me these salsas. Um, I, I have recorded salsa reviews before. I've done it on Snapchat. Um, 
And so he sent me, he sent me salsas before. And I, I've been given plenty of gifts for salsa. I love it. It's the best thing that could ever happen to me. Um, the easiest gift to do, too, because there's so many out there. There's no way I've tried them all, you know. Um, so, Josh, thank you for sending this to me. I really do appreciate it, dude. Your support means the world to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully before the next holiday. But never know. Oh, but for Thanksgiving, I do have a special treat. I make my own pumpkin salsa. It's pretty damn good. So be on the lookout for that. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.